Hi, I'm Christine Armashaw, and today I'm going to tell you how to correctly pick up your horse's leg and pick out his hoof. So, this is Fanta. Um, he already knows that I'm here, but it's really important that before you start to try and get to the hoof, you start at the top of the shoulder, and give him a wee rub, and go, hello, I'm here, because he needs to know that you're there. Okay, so then you run your hand down the horse's leg, down the back of the tendon, eh, 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 and I go right down to the bottom, I give it a wee squeeze, and I also put it with a cue, I say lift, and he lifts his foot up for me. Okay, so I like to pick out his foot into a bucket so he doesn't get all the stuff back in his foot once he's put his foot back down. So when we pick the hoof out, this is the frog, this triangular bit. We go into the side of the frog down here and we do it from one side and then from the other and going around like that. So what we're looking for well, obviously we're cleaning out any mud, but we're looking to see if there's any little stones or bits of stick stuck in there that could be causing an annoyance or a nuisance. We get right in there, either side. Obviously we're gentle, but at the same time, like, it's not going to hurt him if you touch him with this. It's not really, really sensitive, but it's sensitive enough you didn't want to be really digging into that bit. You go either side of it, okay? And once that's all done, we just place the hoof back down. I don't like to drop the foot. I like to let him put it down gently. There we go. Good boy. Now, my cheat trick is obviously you can go around to the other side, but to save time, you can stay on the side that you're on. And you can do this from either side. And you can reach over and you can pick up that foot from here. So you run your hand down the back, get a wee squeeze. There we go. I put my bucket over here again. Same thing applies, get right in the side there of the frog, around the edge of the toe, get all the mud out, particularly checking that there's no stones or sticks stuck in this bit here. If you're going to get stuck, it's going to be in up where the shoe is, if your horse has got shoes on. And I also like to take this opportunity to give the shoes a wee pull and a wiggle, make sure they're firmly on. You should pick out your horse's feet every day just to check that the um, shoes aren't loose, there's no cracks in the hoof, that there's nothing abnormal, there's no heat in the foot, and nothing that could ultimately cause a problem. Because if you check them every day, on a day where there is something wrong, and trust me, if you have horses for any length of time, one day there will be something that isn't quite right, you'll know because it will seem abnormal compared to all of the other days. So it's a matter of routine which will lead you to figuring out stuff before it gets really bad. Okay, let's go to the back foot and I'll show you how to pick up a back hoof. So same thing, we start at the top, let them know that we're there, run your hand on the back, all the way down, and lift. If he doesn't want to lift, I give him a wee squeeze and I put my nail in if I have to. Hold on to that foot. Okay, he doesn't have any shoes on his back feet. I just have them on the front because that's what he finds comfortable when he's on hard ground. I just do whatever we need to for whichever horse I've got. Some horses have got shoes on the front, some have got them on all the four feet, and some have got no shoes on, just depends. And we pick out either side of that frog. Okay, gently lower the foot down. Don't want to drop it, it's impolite, it's rude really. And then my cheat is that I can reach from here, still staying on the side of the horse, you never go behind it. Run my hand down the back leg, that's a boy. Get my bucket. You can obviously do this straight onto the ground. I just like to do it so that we don't get mess on the ground, which he immediately steps back in. Okay, move the bucket out of the way. Lower the hoof back down. Good boy. Give them a wee pat. It's always good to keep them reassured and happy. And that's how you pick out your horse's feet.